This week on Buck Commander. We started the year out with four really good bucks on Rochi's place. So Adam shoots this monster trophy and then I guess all the other deer were on the do not shoot list. Rochi apparently killed the only mature deer left on either property. So what does that mean? We're going dumpster diving. Adam gives us the go ahead on no rules. So you give me no rules and I give you a deer walks out in front of me and I shoot it. Last year at the E3, it's going to be tough to beat. So last year, our E3 hunt was probably one of the best E3 hunts we've, we've had uh, since Buck Commander's been around. Jason killed a monster deer. It's going to be a fun night at the E3 if we find this deer. <sighs> Willie killed his first deer with a bow. and. Decades. My first bow kill in a long time, so I bow hunted a lot. I just hadn't hadn't got one. I mean, it was just all the way around. It was just uh, one of those weeks that was pretty epic week at the E3 last year. <laughs> I know what this is. Perfect. <laughs> 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 So this year, we're rolling in thinking it's going to be lights out. And um, come to find out, it wasn't. Mark. Mark. to lay hands on him. Adam killed this huge deer, saved it for himself, and uh, we were stuck on trash mode, taking out the trash. I'm surprised he earned my respect for how far he toted that shot. We started the year out with four really good bucks on Rochi's place. He killed the drop time. Killed the drop time. The neighbor killed one. Killed another one. And then now all of a sudden, we get to camp and Rochi starts taking deer off the hit list. He rendered the last two off the list. So now this is what we're hunting. Today, well, today for me and Mike, it's like any other day. We're just gonna go do what we do. And everybody else is gonna, like, not kill anything. So me and Mike pick up the slack like we do every time. Just another day. E3 group hunt, day one. If this footage never airs, then you'll, you'll need to come look for me and Jamie in this cedar tree, because we're probably frozen to death. But if you're watching this right now on the Outdoor Channel, then everything's probably OK. Today is a, a crapshoot. There's actually a handful of deer that we, we have to pass which, you know, is basically against my religion, but this is not my place for Rochi's, so we respect that. Yeah, I think, you know, probably at one point in time, we felt like it was good strategy to send um, Mikey and Tombo together. Good luck, brother. Love you, man. And there's there's a couple of reasons. The main reason, I don't shoot the wrong deer. When Mikey says we go, we go. It's proven to be that I think Tombo's influence is a little more than Mikey can handle. 
I'd say that Mikey can only look at so many eight points before he starts calling them junkers. Yeah, Mikey's a bit of a uh, wild game trail cam fetish. -er. Aficionado. Yeah, and I think his deal is if he sees a deer on camera too much, he gets tired of looking at it, so we might as well shoot it. That we don't have to look at him anymore and we can bring another one in there. And when you got Tumbo with you, Tumbo's your guy. He's willing to oblige. He's the trigger man. Strong like bull, baby. He's the deer hunter's version of a hit man. If you got somebody or something you want taken out, bring Tombo. Here comes another one. That's a bigger one. Coming out right here. That one of ours has a ten point. Side to his side. Well, he's got me singing that song. Kill it. Four year old. It's a Florida state record. <laughs> so we're just getting settled in. <laughs> Hunter was getting the GoPro set up and we saw a pretty good buck. Probably, probably 60 yards in the woods, so uh, it's real early. Gosh, it's not even three yet. Here the first evening, we're the first evening at E3. It's good to be in camp. I got four, four hunts planned, so I'm pretty pumped up about that. The most, most amount of time, most amount of time I've gotten to have at E3 in quite a few years. So it's gonna be a good, uh, hopefully a good couple days. Boone and Brockett possum. <laughs> this is, uh, we're sitting on a lease that Rochi has. There's a, a really cool six by, it's coming in here, six by four, I think. And uh, he needs to go. He'd be a great deer for anybody. Super great deer for me because I don't I don't discriminate as you as you well know something's gonna die tonight I promise you that if it's not from us it'll be from somebody on this lease yeah let the games begin Mikey you lazy she is so lazy.
smoked. Ta-da! <laughs> smoked them at 34 yards. Anybody, anybody that thinks this is easy, you, you've obviously never done it. Because, I mean, this is, these are deer that never get hunted. And skittish is crap. Spooky. I mean, unbelievable skittish, spooky. They don't get hunted. I mean, they're surrounded by cows, that's it. Roachy, I'll take out your trash any day, buddy. It's just what we do, Mike. Kill him. We just kill. <laughs> a lot of stuff to look at. Oh, no. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, pretty much we have a 50-yard window. So we're just going to be sitting here, and then we're going to be like... So Rochi has leased up all these, these places around the E3 to, as it's a diversionary tactic, to make us leave the E3 so we can go chase these deer on these other leases because he says, go over there and y'all just don't, don't get picky. Just if something walks out and you want to shoot it, shoot it. So um, yeah, a lot of psychological warfare going on. Clear defense. Help <sighs> 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 your partner. Is it too funny? <laughs> Pull my pants apart. Oh, Nelly, Center Punch City. He's a little high. Thank you, Rochi. Thank you, Mikey Miller, and everybody at E3. All the, you know, you guys work hard getting ready for our trip, and uh, it means the world to get to come here to Kansas and kill these whitetails. So thank you guys, and. Uh, <laughs> Now the fun part is we get to celebrate getting a deer down on the first day. Buck Commander, Kansas, we out. <laughs> He's old. You don't, that's not what you want. Lou, look at that, that's cute. He's got all kind of trash on him. <gasps> Mikey, is that supposed to happen? Three. You think? I said maybe three. Hey, he would have been something. I don't think he's gonna see three. He's gonna see the gravy train. 
He gone. He gone. So the spot we're in here hunting, there's a deer they call Junior. I'd seen him a couple years ago as a youngster. I'm hoping to get a look at him this year. Right before we're going out to chase this deer, Rochi decides to tell me he's been taken off the hit list. If you're asking me what I would do if, if Junior walked out in front of me, um, in my opinion, that deer right there, worth getting kicked off the ranch. Sorry, Rochi, but you know, it's not every day you got that steps out in front of you. So, uh, we just, you just have to be mad at me for a little while when we'd hug it out. I'd pack my crap immediately and leave, but the horns are going home with me. <laughs> we just had a 190 inch deer. This is probably the only place in the world where I don't pull my bow back on that deer. <laughs> Thank God he walked out in front of Lange and not one of these other guys. <laughs> That's the biggest deer I've ever had in front of me in my life. Tombo would have shot him. Jason would have shot at him. Willie would have wounded him. I just think Rochi's spoiled. He's used to seeing deer like that all the time. I, I think I would appreciate it a lot more, being as I don't see that stuff every day. So I just shoot it. Every year we get roped into this volleyball game. Jen LaRoche and the Funky Fowls. And we always get our asses kicked. We need some strategy. What do you guys need to do? Listen, as strategy. far as the lineup, we need that strategy. Ready? One, three, one, two, three. I like it now. Watching middle-aged women play out-of-shape men in volleyball. Ain't a lot going on in Fort Scott. Finally, we were competitive. Personal foul, bad rotation. Sir, tie your shoe. Sir, tie your shoe, please. Safety hazard. We're on your time.
they won two out of three, but we won one, which is one more than we've ever won. Didn't we win one? <laughs>